Halloween's a special time of year for spooks and frights. Heck, some people even like to say that our little town here at the museum is haunted, but I don't believe them. Huh. So, in spirit of the season, we're going to tell you a tale that's right out of the Weird West. Now, I must warn you, this story is not for the faint of heart. Elmer McCurdy was a man nicknamed the bandit who wouldn't give up. But in all honesty, he probably should have. After three less than successful train robberies in 1911, McCurdy was tracked down by police and killed in an hour-long shootout in a barn near Pawhuska, Oklahoma. But his story doesn't end there. McCurdy's body was embalmed, but he had no family to claim it. So the funeral home put his body on display for the public to see for five cents apiece. And sure, why not? Don't you remember that story your grandparents used to tell you? Why, when I was your age, you could see a dead guy for only a nickel. The funeral home exhibited the corpse for five years until two mysterious men who said they were McCurdy's brothers came to claim it. However, they weren't McCurdy's next of kin, but they were the owners of the Great Patterson Carnival Show. McCurdy's body was then bought and sold by various traveling shows, side shows, and wax museums, and traveled the country for nearly 60 years. Part of McCurdy's posthumous posterity included accompanying the official sideshow of the 1928 Trans-American Foot Race. In 1933, his body was placed in theater lobbies to promote the exploitation film Narcotic. The film's director had McCurdy labeled as a, quote, dead dope fiend, blaming his leathery, shriveled skin on drug abuse. It's been estimated that the total distance traveled by McCurdy's corpse would circle the earth one and a half times. The Mummy Bandit eventually ended up at the Laugh in the Dark Funhouse in Long Beach, California. It was discovered in 1976 by a film crew who didn't even know the corpse was human until McCurdy's arm broke off. McCurdy's body was finally laid to rest in 1977 in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The casket was buried under two feet of concrete to make sure McCurdy stayed put for good. Well, that wraps up this creepy tale. Thanks so much for watching, and on behalf of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City, have a very safe and happy Halloween. Woo! I'm gonna get out of here. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.